Our Wendy's Female High School Athlete of the Week is a junior standout for Shawnee Heights Volleyball. Her name is Emily Loy, a first-team All-United Kansas Conference pick this season. And again, she is our Wendy's High School Athlete of the Week. Emily, thank you so much for joining us this week. And when you found out that you were voted first-team All-League, let's just start there. What was kind of the emotion you felt? Was it, hey, I, you know, my goal is to get to this point? Was it kind of relief, excitement? What did you feel when you found out you were first-team All-UKC? Um, I was very excited. My mom actually told me and it was kind of exciting to see that I put a lot of work in over the summer that it kind of just paid off for the season. When you talk about putting in that work from junior season to uh, pardon me from sophomore season to junior season, what did you work on in particular? What were some of the things you tried to improve on in terms of specific skills or conditioning or, or leadership or whatever it might be? What are some of those things you worked on? Um, in some previous seasons, I had a few injuries, so I started by working on like my forms and making all my muscles stronger so I could stay injury free. And then I also worked a lot on my skills and just really getting better at my positions and the things that I can do to be a better volleyball player. We're talking to Emily Loy, a junior from Shawnee Heights of Volleyball, our Wendy's High School Female Athlete of the Week. So give us a little bit of a scouting report then with your junior season in the books now. Tell us a little bit about what Emily Loy is like on the court, some of your skills, and maybe some of the things you're most proud of from your game. Um, I played outside this season, and overall we had a really good season. We definitely improved over the season, and we played a lot of good competition, but I do my best to give effort every single play and just try to lead and give an example. I always love when we have volleyball players on because volleyball is the sport I played when I was in high school. It was the only sport I was ever good at, so I always enjoy when I get to, to talk with someone about it. And I was an outside hitter as well. Have you tested other positions? Have you ever played middle blocker? Did you try setting ever and you just sort of settled in on outside? Is that what you've always done and wanted to stick with it? How would you end up being uh, mainly an outside um, I kind of just play whatever the coach needs. So for club, I play right side, but then for outside, or we did outside for school this season. So I did some middle last year. I just kind of went wherever. Do you have a specific position that you most don't like playing? I couldn't pass at all when I was playing volleyball. So anytime I got to the back row, I was subbing out right away. Is there anything in particular or anywhere you don't like to play? Or is there any skill where you say, yeah, if I can avoid doing that, I would uh, prefer to avoid it? Yeah, passing is definitely something I struggle with, but I'm working on improving it. We're talking to Emily Loy, our Wendy's High School Female Athlete of the Week, a junior from Shawnee Heights Volleyball. Take me through, Emily, this season. You were mentioning that as a group you guys improved over the course of the year and you like where the program is right now. What as a team do you think were some of your strengths? Was it a group that was you know, well-led, that had good leadership? Were you a part of that as well? What were some of the strengths of the T-Birds this season? Um, yeah, I like to think that we played really well as a team together and we all got along really great and we we're not just like good friends on the court but and off too. So, yeah. When you when you look back to the beginning of this season, so we go back to August of 2021, when you were thinking of goals for yourself personally and for Shawnee Heights as a team, how well do you think you did in terms of meeting those goals, in terms of wins for the team and, and personal success? Where do you feel you landed in terms of accomplishing your season goals? Um, I think we had all hoped to go a little further, but we did as I think we did pretty good. Um, I personally thought that I had a pretty good season and I did the best that I could. As you look ahead then, because you've got one more year at Shawnee Heights, and you mentioned you play club as well, what is that next step for you? Obviously, you get named All-League. That's a pretty big accomplishment as a junior or really as any level of year. What's next for you? What do you want to improve on next? What are some of the goals that you are setting for yourself come this club season and then going into next high school season as well? Um, this next season, I'm going to work on just really trying to be a better teammate and just really being a great leader. And, um, yeah, I would say, yeah, we had a really good season, but I think that personally I could improve and just being a good teammate. 
Now, also, as we look ahead, the last question I've got for you, Emily, is volleyball something you want to pursue post high school as well? Are you hoping for a college volleyball career or maybe just something casual off to the side along with whatever you do after high school? What are some of your future thoughts and how volleyball pertains to them? Um, I would like to play college volleyball if I get the chance. Well, it sounds like you are off to a, a great start in that regard. An all-league in the UKC first team pick this season, Emily Loy from Shawnee Heights. She is our Wendy's High School Female Athlete of the Week. Emily, thank you so much for taking some time for me today. I really do appreciate it. And best of luck with this club season, and congrats on being named first team all-league in the UKC. Thank you.